when people see me in the streets, they go, hello, kitty, hello, kitty. Okay, I totally hope that that little intro did not scare you guys. Um, my name is Caitlin, as you all know, that is my full name, but um, my nickname that my friends and family call me is um, Cat and Kitty. <clears throat> so Hello Kitty um, has kind of been my trademark, and um, this is just going to be like a really random vlog. I've never really been a big vlogger, so I'm going to try it out, and um, it's going to be really random, but um, a couple weeks ago was the Cherry Blossom Festival in my city of San Francisco. And look what I got! Hello Kitty ears! Seriously, I had to stand in line for like 20 minutes just for this. My family was like, you are crazy! I would never wait in line. Why would you even wait in line for like freaking cardboard ears? I know, but I love Hello Kitty. Me and my boyfriend's sister waited in line and um, it was downtown, and um, there's a Sanrio store downtown, so you had to make um, a $5 purchase minimum to get the Hello Kitty ears. I just wanted the Hello Kitty ears, but hey, why not? I bought, um, let's see, my $5 purchase was a key cover. Cute, I know. You're wondering, damn, that was $5? No, I got two, but um, I gave, um my brother's sister one. So that is that. Um, the Cherry Blossom Festival sucked. Okay, really did. Um, I thought there were going to be so many booths, so many food. There wasn't really a lot of food to begin with. Um, and all the good like booths for food, the lines were like two blocks long and I wasn't about to wait in line for two blocks just for food. Um, so we got, or me and my boyfriend got three lumpias. For five dollars, or was it eight? No. Yeah, it was like eight dollars for three lumpia. Um, I love lumpia, but not that much. Um, so it kind of sucked. There were no booths with like um like stuff you could buy. I think Dia de los Muertos is way better. Day of the Dead, for those of you who don't know Spanish. Um, I don't either, but don't tell anybody. But yeah, the Day of the Dead festival is so much better. So is Carnival. Um. There's so much music and dancing and um, a lot of booths where you can buy like jewelry, clothes, all kinds of stuff. But the Cherry Blossom Festival sucked. I'm sorry. I was expecting to be there all day. So much fun. We were maybe only there for about two hours before we were just like, waste of time. So, um, that was that. And, um... So that's where I got those Hello Kitty ears, super cute. I'm on a diet, so um, I'm really trying, trying, trying to eat healthy, and um, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in me doing um, weight loss vlogs. I'm trying desperately to lose weight with my boyfriend. Um, so I was wondering if you guys wanted to see like weight loss vlogs. I know I asked this in a previous video. Um, but I can't remember, like, what people said. If you guys would be interested, anyways, in, um, me doing, um, weight loss vlogs. Or if you guys would want me to, you know, like, create another channel where it could be, like, all my vlogs. It could be me going to the gym, um, showing you guys what I do. So, you guys should let me know. Um, it's really, really hard to lose weight. I think especially for girls it's hard to lose weight. I know I've tried desperately for so long. There's so many temptations out there. I am a sweets junkie like with candy and chocolate chocolate and sour candy are like the devil to me like really um if they are in front of me I will eat them yeah no like I have no willpower whatsoever it's getting better slowly like I can resist if I really want to and as far as workouts go I'm really pushing myself now um I was a big fan of saying, I can't do it, and like making excuses. I can do it. It's really mind over matter. So right now, um, I do 20 minutes on the treadmill and then 20 minutes on the elliptical. On the treadmill, I do um, 5 minutes at um, the number 5, like 
when you press the speed, I'm at number five. I do that for five minutes, and then for five minutes after, I do um, speed six. Then I go back down to five for five minutes, and then back up to six, and then I do my cool down. And um, raising your levels and then bringing them back down, that um, it's good for like um, cardio. It's good for your heart rate, so um, I learned that, and I'm doing that now. I used to only be able to do 15 minutes, but I got up to 20. I also got up to 20 on um, the elliptical, too, so it's like 20 and 20. I like to be even. I like even numbers. I don't know why. Call me weird. But, um... Yeah, so I am really, really proud of myself. Last time I really, really pushed myself. Um, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just stick with 15 minutes and then do 20 minutes next time. No, I pushed myself and it was great. Um, my workout soundtrack is the new Femme Fatale by um, Britney Spears. Her whole album is so ridiculous for working out. Like, it, it just gives me so much energy for like the longest time. So um, after I do the... Um, treadmill and then the elliptical I do weights with my boyfriend and he's been really really encouraging he shows me like the proper technique for um, lifting weights and doing all the machines and so um, I really pushed myself last time I went I'm supposed to go tonight with him and I'm really excited um, it's a journey losing weight and I think that it's so worth it in the end just to see the changes in your body um, mentally and physically um, and so I'm on that journey currently, and I will update you guys um, numerous times to let you guys know how that's going. And um, I'm just really excited. And another ex really exciting news is I'm going to IMATS in June in LA with my boyfriend's mom and his sister, and I am so excited. I've never been to IMATS before, so um, I've been saving up for quite a while. I know I'm going to need so much money. Um, I am a makeup junkie. It's all bad, but I'm so excited. I think it's just going to be such a great experience, and we're going to go down to Disneyland for a day while we're down there. Might as well. I'm going to get to visit Hollywood. I've always wanted to visit Hollywood. That's been, like, one of my goals as I was little up to now. I've always wanted to visit Hollywood. We were there for, like, a minute when we went to Disneyland over winter break, but um, we never really went, like, through Hollywood. We just drove through it. I never really got to take time and, like, walk down Hollywood. Um, so I'm really excited for that. IMATS is going to be awesome. I'm going to be taking some classes there as well. So I will let you guys know. And I know I'm going to have so many hauls and videos for you guys when I get back. I'm going to try to record IMATS while I'm there. And put all like my videos together to show you guys. So I'm really excited for that. Um, another thing is that I have been debating doing more work with animals. I think that... You know, I just look at my dog every day, and she amazes me. Like, just random little things that she does. I can't really explain it, but I just look at her, and it makes me want to help other dogs in need. My dog was a shelter dog, so is my cat um, back at home. And, because I live with my boyfriend, so I just brought my dog along, um, and my grandma takes care of my cat. I've always gotten my animals from shelters. I think that is the best place that you can get animals rather than from like a breeder or somewhere else because animals in shelters are the animals that are in need the most. I think they just need love and like a family, you know, they need to feel like they belong somewhere. So I've been debating doing volunteer work. I used to be really, really into that. Um, but, you know, when I went to college and I got a job, I just got really busy, and I'm really busy now, but, um, I've been debating just, like, taking out time to dedicate myself to that. I have a lot of, like, um, shelters. I have an SPCA right by where I live, um, and a lot of shelters that are, you know, similar to the SPCA. So I've really been debating doing work on that. I know it's going to take a lot of time and dedication, but... I'm willing to do that. I just think that there are so many animals out there in the world that need, you know, help and love. And I think that it's just so sad. But, you know, it's not something that a single person can do. I think that, you know, if we all really took the time to dedicate ourselves to them, um, I think that we could really make a change, a positive change. I see so many people just mistreating their animals. And I just wonder how you could have the cruelty in your heart to... Um, treat animals that way. Like, animals 
do nothing to you but show you unconditional love and for someone to be so cruel to their pet or their animal is just disgusting to me I think that there's nothing lower that you can do than that I mean there's a lot of bad things that you can do but animal cruelty it's just like you're being so mean for no reason and um I just I hate it and I wish we could stop it I wish that you know we could catch more people and send them all to jail. Um, I'm a really big fan of um, Animal Cops on Animal Planet, but sometimes I can't watch it because it's so bad. And I hate just seeing animals like that, but what can you do? So I am debating doing that, so let me know if you guys would want to see videos about that too. Um, and yeah, so that I know all of that was really random, and I'm just kind of like rambling but I thought I would let you guys know everything that I am up to and I am thinking about um I'm getting like this rash on my hand from work because um we have to do dishes and there's like sanitizer in one of the sinks you can't see it it's not as bad it's just it bothers me I don't think anybody would really notice it it's not red and blotchy or anything but it gets itchy like if I put my hand under hot water I hate that like I oh been working so hard on my hands and my job is just slowly bringing my hands down um so I wonder if I can get like ointment for it or something you can't even see it that's really gross I don't even know what I'm telling you guys I'm just gonna go now <laughs> but I will see you guys in my next video I put my hat on to say goodbye to you guys I got this for what did I get this from I forget I really forget where I got this from. Where did I get it? Oh, I got it from um, one of my managers for Christmas. Can't believe I forgot that. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm such a dork. Bye.